Hello guys, welcome back to Rover's Return, episode 33. We're back to the trusty, reliable. It, it, it looked alright last episode, but it wasn't fantastic. It's not the highest quality I want it to be. And as I said, as soon as I get the graphics card, probably we'll fix the situation. But for now, I want the high quality. I'll put a bit more effort into it to try and get you these fantastic quality episodes. 1080p, the crisp, the sharpness. Since last time, I'll go through again. Like we did last time, I quite enjoyed the little way I did it last time. So last time we did obviously beat Manchester United 2-1, then a 4-2 win against Hull. A nice, interesting game. This a very good game for us. Jose getting the hat-trick, then a 4-1 win against Sheffield United. Adam Armstrong finally back in the goals. He's not scored for a very long time. The whole month he hadn't scored for. So it's good to see him back getting back in the goals, getting back fit. But he did pick up an injury this game. I'll show you. I quickly show you the goals in this game. Five minutes in, Adam Armstrong did, of course, score the first goal. Laza plays it through to him and he rounds the keeper. It's his bread and butter that. Off the shoulder of the defender, into the back of the net. Beautiful little goal. Then in the 18th minute, they equalise. Moussa plays it forward. Neon Bay scramble about in the box. Then it falls to Brewster who puts that into the back of the net to make it one all. Then Bowen gets a goal for a Suchek. Finds his old... Well, no, no, he doesn't actually. Dembele finds... Bowen, Suchek and Bowen partnering up though since the West Ham days again. Nice little um, interplay between Dembele and Bowen there. Then an injury and a red card for Cody saw Adam Armstrong score a penalty in the 67th minute. And I'll tell you what, Sheffield are no mugs in this save. They're very, very good. Adam Armstrong putting that into the right hand side of the net, as you can see. But yeah, they are a very good side. And then Piquanio Mago getting a goal in there. Tonali plays it to Travis, who has a rare game nowadays. Bowen touches it down. To Margo. And there we go. That's the 4 1 for you. Then a 0 0 draw against Leicester. Not a very interesting game, this one. Uh, we played pretty solid defensively, but Leicester, still a very good side. I'll quickly just show you their team. Their team, still very, very good. Rafinha, Barnes, uh, Pratt in there, Rojas, Yunchu as well. Thomas is finally playing. He's a very good left back. I might try and bring him in. And um, Pereira as well. Then a nice 1 0 win against Wimbledon, a rotated side, as you can see on the right hand side. And then a loss to Southampton. A surprise loss of 1-0 lot. A very poor game up front, basically, in this one. And Brentford, Huang Hee Chan. Yeah, he scored one goal last year. He scored five this year. And two of them have been against us. Interesting. Very interesting. A 2-1 loss to Brentford. Fuming with these two games. I'll show you why in a minute with the Premier League table. And then Burnley. Adam Armstrong doing the business for us again. Getting a nice 1-0 win against Burnley. So I'm trying to find a familiarity with the two tactics that I'm rotating through to see what we can do. But And a good bit of scouting there for the Burnley game for our upcoming quarter-final in the Carabao Cup. That'll be interesting to see how we fare in there. Just trying to advance through the season at this point. As you can see, I'm playing, playing quite a few more games because it's very much a building series now. I've got... I've made it so that we're an established Premier League side within two seasons, which is very good. It's rare to see that. It's like what Leeds are trying to do now. And I'm an established Premier League side. We've got the scouting behind us. We've got the coaching behind us. We're looking very good. We just need to bring in that calibre of player now who are really going to lighten up our sides. But it's hard to bring players in when you've not really got that reputation. So that's why I want to try and get Europe in the next season again, preferably Europa League. So today we've got Arsenal. I'll show you the Premier League just before we get into the team selection. It's an interesting one. So obviously we dropped six points in the last three games. We've only got three out of nine. If we'd have won those two games against Southampton for one and then Brentford for the other, we'd see ourselves sitting... Well, we'll be sitting <laughs> joint top at this point. It's a shame because you'd expect us to, in essence, really beat those two teams, but it just isn't meant to be, and that's how the season goes. But seventh already, we're in within the we're in the big boys here. City not doing very well this season at all, but we are we are up in this top table side. We're a mid table, top table team now. Team selection today against an Arsenal side that are very very strong. I'm a bit scared of this one, but we'll have to see what we can do. Tonali and Travis playing in the two midfielder play um, spots we're going to play a bit deeper this is so this is what I've established I'm playing this one when I think we're going to lose and I'm playing this one when I think we have a chance that's that's basically where I'm at at this point so Adam Armstrong has to play up front he's been playing very well so far this season I think Alaza needs a bit of a rest so he's going to be sitting on the bench Gebby is having a fantastic time out there. He's really coming on leaps and bounds and he looks a fantastic player. I'm just trying to get him a bit more experience in the under-23s before I bring him through. Other than that, Popov and Jev playing pretty decent next to each other. Tonali and Travis have that connection in the midfield. In fact, we've not done this for a while. Travis. Oh, yes, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Right, and then Paquano Margo just going to sit on the bench. He's a decent player. He comes on a lot of the last minutes. He's progressing pretty well. 
he's just a nice little he's a nice little player he looks a bit more like a uh, inside forward to me if anything like uh, maybe replacing Bowen but we've got a little a little someone coming in who I'm going to surprise you with during the tra January transfer window we'll, we'll come back for that episode trust me that's going to be a good one but a lot of players wanted we're going to get straight into this game now though this is how we're going to line up I've not done this for ages. Larson Year, Dallo, Jeb, Popov, Nyambe, Travis Tonali, Hosek on the left, Dembele on the right, Kamara in behind the striker with Magic Adam or the Magician up front. Let's see how we fare in the game. And now we kick off against Arsenal. The war counts going on here. As you can see, a lot crisper, a lot nicer this setup that I've got here. And now a win against Arsenal could see us do very well. I'm going to go positive purely because we're at home. It's purely because we're at home and we're playing this deeper formation, which allows us to be a bit more defensive whilst getting forward. Now, Arsenal have a highlight straight away. Almada plays out wide. Dallow intercepts. Now, Hlozek is on the ball, but it gets taken off him. Pedro and Katia coming forward now. Can he maybe find a ball in? Nyambe wipes him out. Now, I thought that might have been a penalty there, but thank God it wasn't. Bellerin on the ball now. Plays it forward to find Colombo. Uh, Bellerin back on the ball now. Finds a ball in and Pedro's there. He knocks it into the back of the net. Oh, we've not really started this game out very strong. The first opportunity of the game. I'm not really going to change anything because I think with it being the first goal of the game, first chance of the game, if anything, it's not worth changing anything up just yet. I'm going to encourage the boys, try and get them going again. And that's that's probably where, where we stand. I'm not really too fussed. We've had a shot ourselves. They've only had one shot. It's been on target and gone in. Yeah, it's just not really happening for us. I've I've compared centre backs to other high quality centre backs. So for example, Harry Maguire, very good centre back on this game. In fact, this can wait. Magician coming forward. Can he have maybe a potential shot here? He does. And he puts it right at Leno. He's not really been on his on his A game this season so far, to Armstrong. But I've been comparing centre backs to see where we can improve our defence. Harry Maguire compares to Jev. Jev is probably better. Then Harry Maguire at this point, as Bellerin dances past everyone, and Larson, yeah, thank God, picks that up. But we've been comparing sort of defenders, goalkeepers, trying to see where we can improve at the back, because we do concede quite a few goals, and Katia now skips past Nyambe. Can we get this clear? Thank God we do. And Slozek loses the ball out again to Thomas Partey. Colombo now, on this right-hand side, gives it to Fruzier, falls to Thomas Partey, will he have a shot? He finds Colombo, who's definitely offside, I was going to say, definitely offside, surely offside. VAR has to be on our side. Now, checking for the goal review. Disallowed. Thank God for that. Right. We, we need to see ourselves get back into this. Switch on, boys. What is that? We can we can see the goal. It's disallowed. And we're just going to do that. I'm, I'm fuming. We are Arsenal. Come on. I, I think we need to push forward, if anything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into this two in the midfield here. Maybe push a bit further up. I'm going to bring Onana on for Travis as well because I think he's been having a shocking game out there. If anything, Tonali can just... He's got the quality so he can stay out there. I might even bring on Margot for Dembele because he doesn't seem to be having a fantastic game but I'm going to have to save me substitutions because Dallow's looking a bit worse for wear. We're just going to keep going. I'm going to start the second half and see what we can do against Arsenal. It's been a pretty poor game by us, to be fair. I mean... I'm not surprised we're losing at this point. Tonali gives it Nyambe. Maybe we can find something now as Adam Armstrong nearly gets released there. Dembele picks it up though. Gives it Adam Armstrong again. It falls to Dembele. Oh, come on. You have to be finishing them. Ronaldo's coming off. I'm going to bring on Margo. And then we're going to play a two up front. We're going to change the tactic again. We go into this one, which I, I prefer. I quite like this. We're going to go straight into that tactic. And Dallow's going to have to come off as well. I'll bring on Williamson to play on the wide back roles. I think we're just going to go attacking as well. We've got to try and go for this game. It probably means we're going to concede at this point, but now, in fact, hold on. We have a ball. Oh, come on. We have a ball forward and it's just wasted like that. Tierney on the ball now. Gives it to Calvin Phillips. Fruller on the ball. Gives it Almada. The little magician up front for their side. Colombo. Thomas now comes down this right hand side. Party finds Pedro. It's 3 0 to Arsenal. We, I probably should never go attacking. That's probably what's going on here. I just shouldn't go attacking. We don't need to see that again. 3-0 to Arsenal. A win here would have been fantastic. Even a draw against Arsenal, who are a fantastic side. But I think the result's just unfair, if anything. We're coming up to the 19th minute now. There's another highlight. Maybe If we can get a consolation, I'll be happy. They'll just see us get a, get a goal. But I'm still disappointed with how we've conceded all these goals. As Dembele goes forward. Finds a ball in and Hosek's there. Mounting a comeback very late. We probably should have just stayed positive, if anything. I'm just not happy with the defence. Like, Jevin Popov are very good centre-backs, but whether or not they play well next to each other, 
I don't know. They just don't seem to play well. I think Niambe is decent enough. His markings there, his positioning's there, he's great physically, but I think the rest of it, the rest of his game just isn't there. Alaza mentally and awareness wise, just not very good. I need I need a good goalkeeper as well. I think as good as Larson Year is, ideally I'd bring in, as you can see here, a, a, a tall, better overall goalkeeper. Larson Year is a very good goalkeeper, but he needs replacing. 16 reflexes is great. He's good at one-on-ones. Handling isn't all there. The first touch ain't great either. And then aerial reach isn't fab. I think if he had a better presence, his position was a bit better maybe in his agility. You're looking at, I think I've compared him already to the likes of Donnarumma and Onana. If you compare it to Donnarumma, as you can see here, Donnarumma, just the aerial ability of him is much better. His reflexes are higher. The one-on-ones are outstanding. Handling's still great. But then physically and mentally, he beats him as well. So Larson year might have to exit the side next year. He's letting us down a bit this year. Last year, fantastic, but this year, letting us down. And we do need to bring in a, a world-class left-back if we can. But there we go. We're going to leave it there. It's upsetting to lose like that in a game where we could have maybe got a draw, but... You know, you win some, you lose some. That's the, that's the one. We beat United, and now we've lost to Arsenal. We're, we're in bad form at the moment. We need to pick it up. I'll join you back, which will probably be around about the start of the January, January transfer window where I've got a few players coming in. I think you'll like who we're bringing in. So look forward to that one. It's going to be Wonder Kid Wonderland. That'll be, the, that'll be the title of the episode. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Ciao.